Hey everyone, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. If you purchased any of the iPhone 15 models or have an iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max, the main lens of your camera shipped with a 48 megapixel sensor. That gives you quadruple the amount of detail or pixels in a photo compared to the 12 megapixel sensor you'll find on an iPhone 14 or older. However, unless you're a photo buff, the chances are you're not benefiting from this improved lens, which remember you paid damn good money for. And that's because the default resolution on all these phones is set to 24 megapixels. Now the main reason for Apple doing this is storage. A 12 megapixel photo will use up roughly two megabytes of space, whereas 24 megapixels uses three megabytes. Prior to iOS 17, if you wanted to use the whole 48 megapixels, you were limited to using Apple's Pro Raw format, which, as you can see, potentially requires a whopping 75 megabytes of storage per photo. However, iOS 17 introduced this new HEIF Max format, which reduces the space requirements of a 48 megapixel photo down to just 5 megabytes. You can still choose Pro Raw, but for the majority of us who aren't interested in white balance and exposure, the HEIF Max format is a good option. You get the full benefits of your lens without the huge storage overhead. So to enable this format, turn on Pro Raw and resolution controls in your camera settings and set the default to HEIF Max. If you're seeing JPEG Max rather than HEIF, well that's because your capture setting is set to most compatible rather than high efficiency. You'll still get the benefits of your 48 megapixel sensor using JPEG Max, but the compression isn't as good, with each photo using up roughly 10 megabytes of space compared to 5 in the HEIF Max format. Having enabled this setting, now when you open the camera app, you'll have this option and tapping it will shoot in 48 megapixels rather than just the 24. You can also long press on the icon to choose between all the different options, just in case you fancy switching between HEIF and Pro Raw. There are a couple more things to consider when trying to maximize your megapixel count. Firstly, you can't zoom in or out. As soon as your focal length changes from one, your photo will automatically reduce to 12 megapixels. It's the same if you switch camera modes. Changing to portrait mode, for example, again reduces your photo down to 12 megapixels. Finally, to absolutely max out your pixel count, you will need to shoot in a 4x3 ratio because your sensor uses the same ratio. If you switch to 16x9, for example, the camera is only using part of the sensor, thereby limiting the amount of pixels in your photo. So that is how to get the most from your 48 megapixel lens on your iPhone. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in learning how to crop a photo on your iPhone really quickly, or how to organize the apps in your dock on macOS by adding spaces. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.